Herman, you piece of crap. Yeah, yeah, I see you sleep in there. Oh, I'm gonna kill you one of these. Oh, an industrial trader. Hello! Um. <laughs> Welcome back to Limey Man Videos! Last episode, we got this done! Now, this this time, in the present, where we are, although technically you'll be watching this in the future from this point, so that's a bit awkward. We need to hook this up to the mains, although technically that's the mains. This is... or is this the mains? Which, which one's the mains? Which one would... that's... That's the power grid, so that would be the mains, I think. Anyway, we need to hook them up, regardless. Right, so we'll just go... Bleh. Actually, actually, I know I've got a great idea. We'll hook it, we'll make it loop around here like this. Which go... Bip, 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 bip. Oh, God, I'm terrible. Go like that. Wee, and then that hooks to there. Done. Great. And then we'll just wall... Actually, yeah, we're going to wall that off. How much metal do we have? 890. How much does this cost? Four. How much does that cost? Six wood. We don't have a lot of wood. So we're going to wall this off like that. Oh, that would be amazing. Then no, no one will be able to kill. In fact, we'll we'll loop this around like that. Do this. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, oh that's fantastic. Create a wooden door. We actually don't need these cables because the walls would do it, but it's fine. It's fine. Because this way we create a barrier so anyone attacking. No one's going to attack from here. Damn it! But anyway, <laughs> they have to walk all the way around like that and go into the turret of death. Yeah. I might hook another turret up over here. But I don't know. We need to hook up power. Power. Give me your power. Right, let's, let's start making. Uh, well, our constructors are going to be busy doing this. So. What do we want to do? Let's have a look. What can we build? Well, the end, the only end goal at the moment is to create a ship. As you can see, the structure beam is 800 metal. That's flipping expensive. And that's only one part of the ship. The other parts of the ships are on the research screen under here. So you have to research that. And then there's another... There's like a research tree-ish, maybe. Sort of, kind of, maybe. But I, I, I usually, I never get that far. I'm going to be completely honest. I like getting hydroponics because I like to dig into a mountain. And that growing crops indoors is very handy. So, we should probably get a research table. But, we, uh, I don't know. I want to get this done. So look at them go. All three of them. The three men of the colony. I completely buggered this up by wiring it to the walls. And they didn't even finish it. And now there's a boom rat in there. It's ridiculous. Now it's raining. Oh, Come on, guys. Step it up. There we go. Look at Zack. Zack's the best. Zack's my fit. He's my favorite colonist. Come on, Zack. You couldn't do it. Why are you going to bed? I'm going to make Zack his own room because he's amazing. Come on. Now, metal... Metal room. He's gonna be like a loner out on his own over here. It's gonna be amazing. He's just gonna have his own room. It's a box. <laughs> I have a door there. Oh, it's gonna be fantastic. What floor do you want? Metal tiles? Yeah, he really loves being his. What's, what's your backstory, Zach? Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, you're a medieval lording, so space. Not really what you want. Okay, I, I can understand that. We'll, we'll, we'll get rid of that. We'll exchange it for wood, because we don't have stone, because you need to research stone. So you can have a big a wooden mansion, because you're a lordling, and it's fantastic. Come on. It's just outside. You have to pass through the flipping solar gen, but it's fine. It's fine. It's completely fine. Oh, God, what is happening? We're low food. And there's a guy. Igniting wood wall? Why would you do that? Where is my colony there? So he's coming from... Ah, oh, bollocks. The turret's over there. Oh, no. What? 
There's now a flipping squirrel gone mad as well. Oh. Is he going to attack? No. Of course they wouldn't attack each other. Of course. Why would they attack each other? That makes no sense whatsoever. All right, hey, house. Forget what you're doing. Take cover behind the solar gen and just shoot this trucker. Go on, snipe him. Snipe him in the head. You missed. Come on. Fire. Come on. Hey, house, you're terrible. I thought you did this for a living. I thought you were a bounty hunter. Pretend he's got a bounty on him. Go on. Oh, you're distracted by the squirrel. Oh, that's not good. Oh, dear. Kill the squirrel. Come on. There we go. Good job. Someone come and get that corpse, please. Fire! Shoot him in the head. Go on. What's his hell? Oh, you got him in the hand. You shot another squirrel. Redfields is running. Oh, you hit. Shot him in the leg. Come on. Finish him. Finish him. And he's out of range. Fantastic. All right, so. Oh, we. We got a new colonist. What? Oh, okay. That's a bit odd. She's a grower. She was a shelter child. <clears throat> Nexia grew up in a shelter deep beneath a toxic world. She received a comprehensive education, but had no opportunity to do physical labor. But then when she became an adult, she lived in the forest and became a wood elf slash hippie slash fan fiction writer. And she was happy to write fan fiction for you for a price. So she's just gonna she's just gonna grow crops and me. I mean it's nice to have her, don't get me wrong. You know Zack. Oh let's I mean I don't think make Zack not have to do as many duties, so that's fine. That's fine. So we now have five colonists. And Hay House is proving to me again and again that he's just terrible at shooting. I don't know what bounties he went for. Maybe he just got them out of a shop. Maybe he likes coconut. I don't know. I'm a Twix man myself. Other chocolates are available. Um, but yeah, well, we need to get this mansion done. Have we finished this? No. Hay House is going to finish the door and then it's going to be fine. It's going to be completely fine. I mean, I don't know what else to say, really. It was just a terrible shot. I mean, he, he's good at shooting squirrels now, apparently. He's good at shooting whatever he's not meant to be shooting at. Hey, house. Yes, master. Shoot that squirrel. Okay, bam. Oh, it's a boom rat. Oh, you're an idiot. Okay, shoot that man over there. Do your job. Bounty hunt him. Okay, master. Pfft. Oh, you shot a squirrel. You're a complete and utter twat. I'm not angry, I swear to God. Alright, next year and Herman, they're just growing. You don't have a bed. Oops. Alright, uh, share, share, share in there, that's fine. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna need them. Well, when, when Zach vacates into his mansion home, then you can have his bed, that's fine. So we're gonna do some more interior decorating like that, there you go. Uh, we're gonna do this. Oh, it's fantastic. Look at that. Oh my god. Wish I lived in a house like this. When it's built, not when it's a building site. That's not as good. Hey, house has received good quality treatment. What? Wait, are you a doctor and you never told me? She's medicine 10? Oh my god, she's a doctor. What's happening now? And a group from Plenty's Ridge. Jennifer O'Neill and Duke. Do you have any silver I can pilfer? Maybe. They're all wearing t-shirts. She's got a jacket. She's mixing it up a little bit. Everyone else. You know. T-shirts and pistols. Are you Jack O'Neill? Has someone made Jack O'Neill? No, Brody O'Neill. Okay. It was a vacuum soldier. Interesting. And they're going to come and just nickel my food like twats. In fact, we're going to have to bump it up to six now that we have five colonists. We need one one spare at all times. That's just the way the world goes. Next, you're sleeping through the day. It's fine. We should probably get flipping the best hunter EU to flipping kill some deer. There we go. Are you going to go do it? Are you awake? Where is it? What's happening? Oh! 
like I mentioned in part one, freaking solar flares are now everything not working. Just as we run out of freaking food. I don't, oh my god. I'd said this would happen, and it's happened. So now they're going to have to eat potatoes and berries off the floor. And it's just going to be horrible. Their mood's going to just plummet into the depths of hell. And it's just going to be terrible. And it's actually Herman hunting. She's trying to do trick shots through this rocky outcropping. Come on. Hurry up. We haven't got all day. We're in a solar flare here. There's someone up in space. Trying to do a game of FTL and they've come into a horrible sector. Okay, you finally got the deer. Okay. I mean, you're a surgeon. But your medicine is nowhere near as... Oh, what? Hello? <laughs> Don't know what that was. That was weird. I hope that wasn't anything important. But yeah, next year is a much better doctor than you, Mrs. Surgeon. But yeah, look. Eating potatoes. It's terrible. Solar flare. One of the worst. It's just one of the worst. So our turret's not working. Oh, we're finally getting that done. I think finally. Alright, okay. Well. Where's Zach? Zach's, Zach's actually being useful. He's cutting up the deer ready for when the power comes back on. And we can make many, many sweet venison meals. She's cleaning. Why are you cleaning? Have you got nothing better to do? Why are you cleaning? Eating from deer meat. No, don't! He's just cut that up! What are you doing? What are you playing at? This boom rat's eating everything! Oh my god. Hunt it! Hunt it! I don't care if it blows up. We'll put the fire out. It'll be fine. Just hunt it. It's eating all the meals. Go on, Herman. Gangster style it. Turn your pistol on the side and just shoot it. No, don't punch it. Oh dear, sweet God, don't punch it. You'll have been draft over there. Walk over there. Just hunt it. Bah. There we go. Right, now put the fire out. Put the put the fire out. Put the fire out! What are you doing? Put the fire out. See, Zach knows what he's doing. Straight to the fire. Herman, no, I'll just put, put the boom rat away first. Make it neat and tidy. Why are you cleaning? Have you got nothing better to do? She seriously doesn't. Construct. Help with the construction. No, actually, help with the growing. We need food. We need food. Just help with the growing. So this is this is done. That's fine. We don't have a roof over it, but who cares? We need more wood for Zach's amazing mansion of amazingness. We need the flare to end. That would be useful. I'm just generally getting grouchy. Because... Of everyone but Zach being incompetent. All of fair dues. Andy used to being a slave. So I can't really be too angry. And next year is some sort of tree hugging hippie. But is actually a superb doctor somehow. Who's better than the trained surgeon. How does that work? So we've got a trained surgeon. And a hippie using Wiccan herbal remedies. Which would you rather go to? Turns out the hippie. We will heal you using using things that shouldn't really work. But, you go, but then you go, oh, but the herbs work. They definitely work. Look, they healed John. So, yeah, the herbs that worked, they became what we call medicine. And are used by doctors. But not Nexia. No, she's a superb, superb healer of healers. And I'm just rambling now, waiting for them all to wake up. Because I haven't got it on fast forward. But it's fine. Next episode we will get this mansion finished. We will reward Zach for being the best colonist there has ever been. And we'll just. We'll be amazing. Does that sound fair? That sounds fair to me. Alright. I'll see you all next time. Bye. I swear to God. Beat the crap out of you. Beat the crap.